Well, car thefts are at a near historic low, but it's still an issue. We should all take precautions. But the Fox 5 iTeam's Dana Fowl says which cars thieves are targeting might surprise you. Not the latest high-end models that we're talking about, right, Dana? No, absolutely oh, not at all. In fact, the National Insurance Crime Bureau says it's an older model car because, number one, there are so many of these on the road. Number two, it doesn't have the latest anti-theft technology mm. on it. Well, no surprise here. It's a Honda. A Civic, still no surprise, but more specifically, it's the 1998 Honda Civic. They're still on the used car market. They're still running. And according to NICB, they're stolen mainly for parts. I found one online with 144,000 miles on it. It's more than 20 years old and it's still fetching more than $2,300, yes. So here, let's take a look at some of the hot wheels that thieves like to take. Again, number one is the 1998 Honda Civic. Right behind it, there's another Honda. It's the 97 Accord. The next two spots are taken up by pickup trucks, though. Number three is a full-size 2006 Ford, and fourth is a Chevy. Again, full-size, it's 2004. And rounding out the top five is actually a newer car, the 2017 Toyota Camry. Hmm. I have a full list on my Facebook page check it out there interestingly metro atlanta is not a hot spot for car thefts this report shows us that we are number 67 what? on the line i know yay for us but still you always have to be careful so that we don't make our automobiles appealing to thieves some of the things that you can do to help decrease your chances of your car being broken into or stolen are parking in well-lit areas, making sure you park in high visibility areas, um, keeping your windows up and your doors locked. Now, I know that all sounds like common sense, but mm -hmm. listen to this. NICB data shows one of the big reasons your car is chosen over another one is... You leave your keys in the car. Stop it. Your fobs right there in the vehicle. No. In fact, in 2016, they saw the numbers of people leaving the keys in the car up 22%. So don't leave your keys in the car. Oh, my How about God. that? It seems like common sense. We say this over and over and over again. When I was growing up, we kept our keys in the car. I mean, because we had three daughters and we were rotating cars. And my dad said, leave the keys in the car because they yeah. would always get lost. But I lived out in the country and you left your keys in the car. Times are changing. Right. <laughs> so what kind of anti-theft measures can we put into effect? If you want to go in, you know, you, you have to pay for these, but if you've got a really nice car, it might be worth it. You know, there's the steering wheel lock, that bar that goes across the steering mm -hmm. wheel. If you have a fancy car and it's going to be a park for an extended period of time, you can actually get boots and put a boot on it yourself. Yeah. Sounds funny, but you can put a baby monitor in your car. Yeah. There are also electronic tracking devices and something called a kill switch, which stops the electricity from getting to the fuel pump. I, I don't have a car like that, but um, if you did, might as well. I would probably it. just use a baby monitor. I love that baby monitor. I know. Monitors. Just check on your yeah. car. <laughs> Keep the thieves at bay. Dana, thank you.